The test lab clothing without cloth came out of a research stay at V2 in which uh, we decided to explore what wearable technologies today could be. And instead of going down the path of what would be um, the LED dress or clothing with the most LEDs, uh, we thought, well, what are some kinds of interesting materials and interesting fabrication processes that are being used in wearable technologies? And uh, so essentially we investigated unusual materialities linked to the production of clothing and fashion. And we decided to invite a spectrum of individuals from different fields, so from uh, industry, from design, from fashion, and from academia to uh, have a kind of dynamic conversation with these uh, different actors and producers in the field of uh, technology and clothing. I did a four-month research stay at V2 from January until the end of April as part of my PhD, which is looking at performativity, materiality, and laboratory culture in wearables. And the goal of this research is essentially to look at the ways in which wearables are used, um, the materials that are utilized in the production of them, and in order to have a better picture of that, uh, the production spaces in which these wearables are made. And if we sort of go backwards, we can see that the laboratories also dictate the kind of materials that designers, artists, and engineers have access to, which also create the kinds of wearables that are out uh, in the world. And the, even the term of wearables is a very complex and hybrid field, which is very difficult to uh, harness and to simplify uh, without utilizing all kinds of different categories and looking at different disciplines. Uh, so through this research, uh, what I'm hoping to understand in a simple way is what wearables can contribute to the artistic field in particular and the ways in which we can express different, uh, different states of being, uh, the ways in which we can negotiate different environments and um, the potential for the kinds of materials which will be used for this. Uh, the goal of being at V2 was to be in a space which has produced a number of significant wearables and to look at the ways in which this field was being thought of, um, the ways in which wearables might be produced, uh, and particularly what might be important for V2 in terms of a center which is really focused on presentation and uh, contrary to, for example, an academic context where the focus is on research and perhaps publishing a paper, um, what happens at V2 is that there's a great emphasis in terms of what the public um, presentation of this work will be. And so that sets a different, a different standard and a different expectation in terms of what we want from wearables.